Hi guys, it's your librarian Sasha with another HSPLS Creates for the Hawaii State Public Library System. Today, we're going to make these bugs out of things that you might have at your home. You'll need some bottle caps, a Sharpie, tape, double stick is preferable, but regular tape will work fine and some scraps of paper or plastic. So I have these little pieces and this is just the top of a snack bag that we ripped off. Let's get to it. First, I'm gonna take my bottle cap and I'm gonna cut out some eyes from some scrap paper. If you don't um, particularly care that they stand out, you can just take your Sharpie and draw eyes on the bottle cap itself. So you can do it this way. There's some eyes. Or you can take your little eyes that you just cut out. I would suggest drawing um, the irises in first and then getting your tape. making a little roll. I'm actually going to cut that roll smaller to fit the eyes. Stick that right on the edge of the bottle cap and then you're going to take your piece of plastic. I'm going to just fold it in half so I get two wings and I'm going to cut out what I think is wing shape kind of around my thumb. what it looks like. Then I'm going to take that little roll of tape that I cut up cut another piece and then I'm going to stick on those wings. If you want to get fancy you can put a little mouth on the front. And if you want to get extra fancy, you can add some spots like a ladybug, or you can add stripes, kind of like a bee or a beetle. If you do want to kind of stop the bleeding that this plastic one um, has, you can do a clear coat of nail polish and that'll help stop the bleeding. But I just made this one um, just to show you what happens if you want to treat, uh, pre-treat your bottle cap first. And I'm just going to roll that tape again. and stick down the tape. There's your wings. And after you're done, you play a little oops, tic-tac-toe. If anyone's interested, the plants here are field garlic, tree of heaven, and an oyster plant, which can all be thought of as weeds, but are pretty cool as a background for my little bugs. Thanks for watching.